What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to my channel. Recently I shared in another video that I have passed and completed my security edit course, something that I've been working on for the past couple months. In that video I shared everything that went on during this course, everything I had to do for it. So at the end of the video I was supposed to share my future plans, what I am going to be pursuing now that I have the course complete. And unfortunately I ran out of time so that's what I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. Let's get right into it. So now that I've passed and completed my security guard course, I plan on finding a job local to me. There's a couple places hiring right now, about 30 minutes away from me in either direction. A lot of warehouses right now are looking for security guards and that would be a really good thing for me to get into. The only thing is I don't have my own vehicle right now and the reason why that matters is Working as security guard, especially whenever you're getting into the industry, you work a lot of doubles, you work a lot of nights, and you work a lot of weird hours, and I need to be able to get to work. So there's no point in me putting my resume out right now, because no place is going to hire me if I don't have my own way to get to work. So before I can do anything, I have to get a vehicle. That is my first step for my future plans. The next thing is to apply and get hired somewhere. Like I said, there's a lot of places hiring near me, so I hope to get into one of them. I plan on working there for about six months to finally get a feel for it, to see if it's something I actually enjoy to do. And if I decide it is something I enjoy doing, I plan on applying for Canada's border agency and getting started on that. So once I apply for Canada's border agency, it takes up to a year to be selected. The reason for that is because it's not just my area where they are selected, people from they're selecting people from all over Canada so that's why since there's so many people applying for it it may take up to a year to get selected but within a year I am definitely for sure going to be selected but just because I'm going to be applying for Canada's border agency doesn't mean I'm going to be quitting my job as a security guard after the six months I am going to continue working there until I am selected by Canada's border agency and starting that so once I get selected for Canada's border agency, my life is honestly going to change in what I think is the best way possible. So the first thing that happens once I get selected is I'm going to be able to choose up to three ports near me. I'm going to be choosing the two nearest ones to me just because they're going to be the easiest ones for me to get to. If for whatever reason, the two places I'm going to choose are going to be full, they're going to be putting me one nearest to them. So it is going to be a little bit farther away, but it's not going to be really killer. It's not going to be like the other end of the country or anything like that. So once that is taken care of, I will be starting my training part. The first thing is a four week online course. Now that I've done my security guard course, I do know what to expect going into another online course. I do know how to manage my time appropriately. So I think honestly, it's going to be a piece of cake and I can't wait to start that. So once I have it complete, I will be having to move to a once I have it complete, I will be having to move to Quebec. I will be living there. I will be living at their campus at residence and doing some training there. And it is about five months I'm going to have to be there for. That is honestly the thing that scares me the most. I've never had to do anything for myself like that. I've never lived on my own. And that's essentially what I'm going to be doing when I move there to be doing this training. And it's going to be for five months. So in a way, it is pretty scary, but it is something I'm going to have to do. And hopefully I do like it. The only thing that is weird is... I've never had to go to Quebec for a long period of time. I'm not sure if the town is a French speaking town. I don't speak any French. That is the main thing that worries me, but I can get through it. I know I can. Once I'm done my training, living in Quebec for that five months, I will be moving back home and I'm going to be doing the on the job training part. And it does take a year and a half to finish that part. And that is why I had to choose which port I wanted to go to, which ones are closest to me. So hopefully I can get into one of the ones closest to me and I'm going to be working there for a year and a half doing the on the job training part. The reason I'm deciding to do Canada's border agency is because I think it's going to be very interesting and it is a lot more money than I would be making working security guard. It's going to be a lot more hands on, which is what I'm used to. I know security guard, depending on where I go, it would be a lot more sitting, and a lot more routine, but working the border, it's going to be a lot more different stuff. It's going to be a lot more interesting. And hopefully if I do like security guard, I know I'm going to love working the border. Honestly, I think that is how it's going to work out and I really see it happening that way. So what I'm going to be making whenever I start working the border is whenever I'm doing the training part, I'm going to be making between 60 and 70 grand a year. Like I said, it will take up to two years to finish the course. Once I'm finished the course, I'm going to be a Canada border agent and I'll be making anywhere from 70 grand to 85 grand a year. Once I'm making this kind of money, I'm hopefully going to get a new vehicle. Even though I just got one, I plan on getting something new or at least a little bit better. And after I have that in my own place to live, I'm going to be saving my money and hopefully within five years, I can buy my own house. Now that is my plan right now. That is something I'm working towards right now but that is my future plans and I honestly hope it works out and I cannot wait. 
So I am going to leave this video here. I hope you guys did enjoy me sharing my future plans now that I have my security guard course done and I have my license. I'll keep you guys updated on if I get a job, if I get a vehicle. I'll share that all with you guys and I will see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.